Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial and the others that will follow, we'll be learning how to use Mapbox GL from scratch. So prior to this tutorial, you should have a basic understanding of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So um, Mapbox GL is a JavaScript library that uses WebGL to render its maps. A quick one on WebGL is that um, it's a JavaScript API that renders interactive 2D or 3D graphics on a browser without the use of plugins. So to get started, we'll need a Mapbox account. Um, setting up a Mapbox account is pretty much straightforward. So under Mapbox.com, let's go ahead and create an account for free. Now provide your credentials in the field and verify your account. Um, you'll be provided with an access token, which we'll be looking at in a while. I already have an account, so I'll directly log in to mine. So um, as you can see, the access token is located within your dashboard. You can also create additional access tokens if you plan to do so. Now let's have a quick look at the Mapbox GL doc, uh, specifically the Mapbox documentation by clicking on this link. So apart from Mapbox GL, Mapbox um, provides a suite of tools and libraries which are useful for development and they include navigation SDKs, direction APIs, Mapbox Studio, Mapbox Dataset Editor among others. Now let's have a look at Mapbox GL documentation to be precise. So at a glance, um, the Mapbox documentation appears to be quite organized and detailed. It gives the developer direction and um, a sense of direction to which objects, methods and parameters to use. Um, let's say for example, the map object. It represents the map on the page and takes in a number of options which may include containers, a minimum and maximum zoom level, bounds, center, pitch, orientation, just to name a few. So the documentation shows the first steps in order to render your map on the page. So let's see you in the next tutorial where we'll actually try to create our own map. Goodbye.